Whoa now, whoa now, man. Listen, listen. We are here. We are here again. I'm telling y'all, shout out to you guys for another wonderful Leverage show. I'm your host, man, Lambo Drew, and definitely welcome to the Lambo Drew Leverage show. You guys are here today for another wonderful Leverage show. Definitely let me know what's going on in y'all world. I would love to hear what is going on in y'all world. Definitely. Talk to me, man. My, my main man, Ken. Shout out to you, man. What it do, Lambo? Man, look, listen, brother. We are rocking and rolling, Ken. We doing what we got to do, brother. I'm trying to tell you this right now, man. Shout out to you. Listen, Big Ken, uh, I'm going to give a shout out to you a little bit later on also in the broadcast. Uh, and make sure that you put in the chat uh, your YouTube. So shout out to you because I just heard that you started a YouTube channel. And it is definitely, man, a good one, man. So shout out to you because I'm excited, man, for you for this, man. Especially my guy, Ken, man, who's always, man, a, a faithful supporter of the broadcast and the community, man. Coming on through and always showing love week in and week out. So my guy, Ken, just dropped a new YouTube channel. Definitely want y'all to go ahead and link up, man, with that YouTube channel. We'll talk about it later in the broadcast, man. All right, shout out. Let me see who's on here. My wife is on here. Shout out to my wifey, man. Definitely showing love, man. Coming on here, doing her thing, man. Always getting me prepped and getting me gassed and ready to go. She is definitely, I'm telling you, man, that the, everything that I need, man, my agent, I call her my agent, my manager. She, she's my, my wife, my friend, my confidant, the whole nine. So shout out to you, Renata, baby. You know I love you, man. Love you more with all those hearts that you make her. Lost, shout out to you, shout out to you. Happy Tuesday. Hey, hey, we excited for this as well. We excited for this as well. Definitely with the whole nine of the family coming through today. You know, I got my guy, Big Audrey Truesdale, coming in here. He's going to break down some good things, uh, especially those who are trying to do some things in the business credit world. He's an expert at what he does. So he just actually had a, um, if I'm not mistaken, it was a, uh, a huge meeting he does. I think it's usually once a month or once every other month. Uh, and he actually uh, strategically shows people how to be able to break down uh, that 80 paid X strategy score for those who want to know what that 80 paid X strategy score is. That is the strategy that they actually use uh, for uh, being able to build business credit. So you're going to need three major components, which is your paydex score, as well as, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's your Experian business score, as well as you tapping into that Equifax uh, business. So you're going to need those three major things. He became uh, a science, pretty much, of uh, being able to make sure that he masters the 80 paydex strategy score. So definitely, we're going to rock and roll on the broadcast, my man, in just a little bit. Uh, my man can say, yes, sir. Thank you, Lambo Drew. The YouTube channel is Haney Enterprises. Listen, I want you guys all on here to go to Haney Enterprise, just like it is on the screen, which my guy uh, Ken went on ahead and that's his new YouTube channel. And y'all go like, subscribe to the new YouTube channel, man. Go follow my guy Ken because I'm telling you, he's going to bring a lot of great information, especially especially in the metaverse and in that arena for what he is doing. So I'm excited about that. We're going to have Ken on the broadcast too. So I've already talked with Jamal about that. I, I, I definitely heard the news today uh, when I was speaking to Jamal about that. So I'm excited about that one. So shout out to you, Ken, man. I already knew you had it in you. And especially if you go going to the next level with some things. So yes, please, please, please. Uh, Yo, guys, go on ahead, go like, subscribe, and go follow my guy, Ken, on the Haney at Haney Enterprises, H-A-Y-N-I-E Enterprises. Go follow him on YouTube at Haney Enterprises. It's going to be good for that. So shout out to my guy, Ken, for really going on ahead and making some noise and uh, uh, jumping into this new YouTube space, man. You know what time it is. Let me see who else is on here. Oh, L.A. Law said he was in a master class. It was amazing. Yes, yes. Audrey had the big master class this weekend. Uh, I know that a lot of people, a lot of people, man, who had attended that. Last week, if someone was on the broadcast, uh, we actually picked the winner. They won a VIP 
package for that. That was Miss Reagan. So shout out to Miss Reagan. Uh, she did went on ahead and reached out to me yesterday. Say she enjoyed the master class. She enjoyed all of those do twos, and she's actually using that to actually further her business. So I heard you guys did some really, really, really great things over the weekend. Uh, we're excited about that. And we're going to talk about that even on the broadcast, man, when my guy Audrey gets in here and we talk about some great things. Uh, LA was wondering, I was wondering if it's a way to start building business credit while waiting on the Duns number to be approved. Yeah, listen, so with business credit, you actually don't have to wait for your Duns number to actually be approved. There is, though, um, a 24-hour method. Actually, you can get your Duns number. Uh, literally within 24 hours, and it's it's an easy method. Uh, reach out to me or reach out to Audrey. Uh, again, we'll go ahead and we can talk about it. Uh, but you can actually register uh, to be able to get that Dunn's number within 24 hours. Actually, it'll come less than 24 hours as everything is pretty pretty uh, good and is in your profile lines up. So that's really easy, something easy for you to do. So LA Law. So hopefully that helped you out. Again, reach out to us. I'll go ahead and put the... Uh, Number on the bottom of the screen real quick here, man. So y'all can, anyone who needs to go on ahead, man, and text uh, for strategy, for anything that you guys may need, text that number 612-547-8826, 612-547-8826. Set up uh, a wonderful time and consultation so we can go on ahead and try to go ahead and help navigate you uh, to whatever success that you actually need out there. So yeah, uh, we'll probably talk about it a little bit in the broadcast, uh, usually on that particular method. That's something that we try to like, you know, save because it is, it's really a, I ain't gonna say it's strenuous, but it's just a method that you use that you can go on ahead, man, and probably only take about 20 to 30 minutes to actually do. And you can actually get that Dunn's number within 24 hours. But if you are waiting uh, and you've already applied for it, I'm, I'm assuming that you, you did LA Law, uh, let me know uh, if you've already applied for it. Uh, and then there is another way that you can actually kind of get around that as well. So shout out to you guys for that. All right. Oh, oh, really? I know who this one really is. Shout out to you. Really, 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 really. I call you really Miss Reagan, really. But shout out to you. She was actually the winner last week. She got a chance to enjoy the VIP package for the master class that Audrey Truesdell actually did through the CBCA network. And she actually reached out to me. Uh, why I was actually watching a good friend last night. Uh, what broadcast was that last night? I think we were watching um, Point Blank's Travel. My guy Rod, who was just on here last week. So shout out to the big homie for being on here last week and rocking the show. We had a great time last week on this broadcast. So yes, my guy Rod was in the building, uh, you know, just enjoying some time with us, man, and spitting some great knowledge. So now uh, Miss Really was actually on that broadcast and she's got connected with some great, wonderful people on there. So shout out to y'all for that. Cause uh, you just don't know how everything connects, how the people connect. It's just truly, truly, truly amazing. So you guys, we're, we're one big happy family. I tell everybody, man, all the time. When you get out here, we wanna make the community one big happy family. So anything you need within the community, we're able to help out and able to help bring you to another level, whatever that level is. So shout out to you, Ms. Reagan. Hope you did enjoy it, which I know you did enjoy it. And we got more stuff, man, lined up for you, all right? All right, Mr. Ken says, sorry, Drew. The YouTube channel is Kennard Haney, not Haney uh, Enterprises. Okay, so it is Kennard Haney, uh, Kennard Haney uh, Enterprise. So Kennard Haney Enterprise, shout out to you. Shout out to you, Kennard, man, Haney Enterprise. So we're going to get you rolling with that. Uh, Y'all go follow Ken's new YouTube channel at Kennard Haney, K-E-N-N-A-R-D, H A Y N I E, Kennard Haney. Shout out to my guy for really going on ahead, showing some love, man, and coming through uh, with that and blessing us with that. So that's King's new YouTube channel. It's going to talk about the metaverse and some things, man, pertaining to the metaverse. So if somebody truly wanted to desire to gain more access and more knowledge with that channel, uh, I, I don't know offhand if Jamal Titus is actually working hand in hand with it, but I did know that Ken actually started his own. So shout out to you, big Ken, man, because you've been always on the broadcast and always showing love. So y'all go follow Ken, go like, subscribe, hit that bell notification all the way up to all. And I'm telling y'all what, with everything that he drops and he comes through, y'all go ahead and out and support Mr. Ken for that. For real, for real. Uh, Ms. Reagan said, I was at the master class and it was great. 
Shout out to y'all. I'm, I'm telling y'all, listen, we are, we, we love to hear testimonies like this. Every time we come in here, I love to hear testimonies like this because the testimonies like this is what really goes on head, man. It makes our day. It makes our time because you guys don't know for a fact that uh, we get people, man, who all the time who are saying, Andrew, man, I, I, I don't do social media. So I really I do YouTube, but I don't do social media. So when I brought the, the broadcast that we were actually dropping the leverage show, I, we were actually expanding to YouTube space and getting into that arena. I said, hey, you guys, I'm going to rock with this. And we started in December of uh, I think December the 20th, a couple of days before uh, Christmas. We started that literally had four subscribers. We're almost at almost one and a half thousand subscribers almost now. So shout out to you guys for getting the community out and uh, making sure that y'all get these videos out and people it has been going viral. A lot of these different videos that we've been dropping week in and week out, man, consistent every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. We've been on this channel. We've been really getting it in and rocking and rolling out here, man. So, yeah. So, Miss really, thank you, Miss Reagan, man, that you enjoyed the master class. You got a chance to really learn from some, some great people, and especially my good friend, man, who's going to be coming on here, man, and showing some love in just a little bit, man. So, shout out to y'all, man, for that. All right. Ken say, I'm new to this. My guy. Hey, I know you're new to this. <laughs> hey, wait. Guess what? We all are new to this in some areas, man. I'm joining the boat, but at the same time, guess what? We're making sure that we're making big impact that is happening about what we're actually able to talk about. And people like Ken and Jamal, you know, they have put the time in and put the work in. Uh, and Ken has worked hand in hand with Jamal on a lot of great products. And the Jamal I'm speaking of is no other than Mr. Jamal Titus here. Shout out to my guy, Jamal Titus, man, is in the building. He is in the building, which Jamal and Ken will join me on the broadcast. I've actually just spoken with Jamal, uh, I think sometime in May, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna get them on this broadcast and they're gonna do a tag team together between April, into April or May or something like that. And we're going to make sure that they rock out and give y'all some great knowledge, especially Jamal was on here, man, all the month of January. Golly, y'all go back, go watch the uh, old YouTube videos for the entire month of January. Jamal Titus is on here, man, really dropping some knowledge, dropping some nuggets and doing some amazing things. So I'm excited about what he's doing. Y'all go drop the, the month of February too, man. We had some amazing stuff. My guy, Tim Roberts was on there, man. Shout out to you, Tim, and stuff like that. Tim Roberts was in the building. Love to see that you continue to give the community, Big Drew. You are God sent my guy. Shout out to you, man. Tim, man, that's my guy. Listen, Tim was the first one on the broadcast that we did back in February. Uh, so y'all go back, go watch that replay. That replay was amazing. Uh, a lot of content, especially on business funding, structuring business, as well as what we're going to be doing some things even on the broadcast tonight and talking about it. Tim is actually a beast in that arena, especially when it comes to business funding and being able to build the business the right way and structure it the right way. So shout out to my guy, Tim Roberts, man, uh, who was on that back in February. I think it was Ebony Lachey came on there the week later from the Lindio, man. Shout out to her doing her thing, dropped a lot of knowledge about funding. Uh, also, the next week after that, I think we had what? It was uh, that little lady, that little little keep elf lady, Terry G. Shout out to you, Prophet Terry G. She was on here too as well, as well as the next week after that, my good friends, pastors, Darren and Robini, Holloway, man, came out showing some love, man. Video was going viral, man, all even on YouTube. So shout out to them as well. And then right after that, man, we had we had back to back people. Golly, we had people like uh, uh, my guy, my big guy. What's, what's my big guy just two weeks ago was on here, man. Damian Buras, which just started lighting up the airways. Shout out to that for that, for the people coming through, showing love, man. Doing some stuff, man. You guys don't know this. This takes a lot with this community and all of the great stuff that that we actually bring to it and the great people we bring to it. Shout out to my guy, DaVinci Jordan. He actually came on here as well, rocked out. Uh, actually, I'll be meeting up with him this weekend. He'll be in town in Denver. And then shout out to my guy, Points Blank Travel, last weekend. And we got my guy, Audrey Truesdale, this week. So you know it's going down this week. Mr. 80, pay that strategy himself, himself. That's the man. I'm telling you, the one guy who I know told me to go ahead and rock out, man, and jumped on this YouTube channel and get busy with some stuff. So I'm really shy, really proud for him for that. Law says, man, oh, wow, that would be amazing. I've been waiting a few weeks. Yes, about that uh, particular 
Uh, Dunn's number, it does definitely can take up to like four weeks or something like that. Again, man, shout out to my guy, man, Audrey, if you guys need any help. Or go on ahead, man, and hit me, text me that number at the bottom of the screen, 612-547-8826. We can come and run down uh, some things that you can actually do for that. But, yeah, shout out to you, L.A. Law, that you was in the building, and that master class was fire, for real, for real. Can't say, man, thank you so much, Lambo Drew. Man, you already know, I'm definitely going to go ahead and give you some love, man, whatever I can do for you so ken thank you. you guys go follow ken again on his new channel at kennard haney kennard haney uh and my guy jamal titus of course yeah i'm working with the North. yeah he is he that, them two working together they like mad scientists in the building working on this big structure so you guys don't even know what y'all are going to expect but it's really going to happen and something big is going to blow blow up man out of this metaverse space so definitely we they have they'll be on the broadcast like i said it, it's in april or may they're going to be scheduled to get them on there. So shout out to them, for real, for real. Shout out to you, Miss Lovely, Miss Flowers. Oh, my God, Sharon is in the building. Good evening, Drew Down and everyone. I have my notebook and ready to take notes. Yeah, you better have your notebook when Audrey Truesdale is on this channel. Mr. Carolina's on because he's always dropping boulders and dropping nuggets and doing what he do best in here lighting y'all up, for real, for real, man. So shout out to y'all. My favorite couple. Oh, good evening. Oh, man. This is my people, man. My favorite couple, actually, from my guy Rod from Points Plane Travel, man, who we was on last week on the broadcast last week, and actually got a chance to uh, tap in with him last night. He actually, man, uh, allowed man this wonderful couple, man, and a lot of his other Patreons to come on ahead and support and build this wonderful community. So shout out to the favorite couple, man. Yes, good evening, everyone on the chat. So they giving y'all some mad love on the chat and doing some great things. So listen. I am not going to hold this further up no more. I've been running my guns and getting y'all some wonderful love. Y'all better have your notepads. You better have everything out that you need because you're going to need it when my guy, you know, the one and only man who I'm bringing to the stage right now, he's the people's champion and the Carolinas down there, man, showing love and showing y'all how to do this thing when it comes down to being able to structure your business credit properly and making sure that you are properly in a proper compliance so that you can get that bank funding that you need. He has definitely taught me a lot of night, put a lot of gems inside of me, man, and definitely has helped my platform start becoming a platform, I'm telling you, to be successful in many different areas that he is. He's definitely got over my 6,000 subscribers. Shout out to my guy who is officially joining the broadcast. My guy, Mr. AKA, knock him down. 80 paid X strategist himself, Audrey Truesdale. Welcome to the broadcast. What up, Jambo? What's going on, family? What's popping? What's popping, man? How you doing, Carolina's own? Man, can't complain, man. Just another day, man. Trying to bless the people, man. Had a, um, had a heck of a master class this weekend, man. Really touched a lot of people. And, uh, man, we're just here to get some game, man. That's what we do. <laughs> Brother, hey brother, you you I don't I don't want I want to say getting game. You in the game, spitting game, doing whatever that you need to do, man. You know, you just you just that 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 full compact brother, man. And you know, when I reached out to you, I said, man, Audrey, man, you gotta come tap in with me on the live. Audrey has brought me into his lives, man, quite a many times, and I've been like, man, I don't even feel honored to be stepping on this platform with my guy, and has truly went on ahead, man, and just open open on welcome me. And I'm thankful for that because that's been my guy, man. Look, look who's showing love in here. My guy Rod right now. Lambo, oh, what's good, bro? What's good, everyone? Good, you know, man. you know, Rod is showing love. Look at that. He's giving you Carolina zone saying what's good, bro. Happy Rod, man. Just happy to be here, bro. You know how we do. So it's family, man. We just uh, just having a good time, man. It's, it's uh, you know, it's that time of the year where it's, it's go time, man. So, you know, for everybody watching, man. Get your note, get your notepads ready. Get your notepads ready, man. Listen, get your notepads ready because he coming with it tonight. Listen, I gotta say this first and foremost, man. You know, let the people know, man, who is Audrey Truesdale and what is Audrey Truesdale about in the arena that he actually serves his community and the people out here. Man, great question. So, man, me just pretty much, man, uh, a husband, um, you know, son. Grew up in the city of Charlotte, North Carolina, man. State of North Carolina, man. That's my stomping grounds uh, since a youngster. Um, entrepreneur. Started my first business in 2014 and created real estate wholesaling. 
Um, and then just uh, uh, last year, 2021, man, we kind of branched off and uh, started the CBCA Network, man, where we basically just help entrepreneurs and business owners get access to personal and business credit. And, uh, you know, we kind of just connected through that that channel, man, and it's been up ever since. If it's up, then it's stuck. Huh? Talk to me. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. You had a master class, brother. Um, and I got I to gotta talk to you about that, man. You had a master class this weekend, man, that your people been coming on here who attended that. Yeah. and been showing love already they like man yo that was amazing look 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 you know reagan she was there reagan Faust, she was there this is her mm -hmm. showing love man he was showing love to my guy points blank man who's definitely on here as well yeah and, and uh everybody i think it was la law la law was on here too saying man yeah. listen man we was in there the master class was amazing listen dude what what is you doing to the peoples like that you're the people's champ mm -hmm. out here I mean, the, the whole goal of it, man, really, honestly, is to just point to the people who uh, attended and, man, really just give them the whole foundation and blueprint. Like I always say, um, that it is the only blueprint that you need in order to get funded for your business, man, you know, now and in the future. So really just trying to give people game because, you know, you hear a lot of fluff, you hear a lot of things that may or may not be true um, or may have worked in the past. But I think, you know, one thing about me, um, I don't really teach hacks, so to speak. I teach more strategies, more higher level, just, you know, the basics, but in a, in a way that, you know, it's a rinse and repeat process. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, you know what I've been, and, and you know what, you, you had a broadcast last week titled, you know, is, is it a scam, man? Is it a scam, <laughs> man? And you raise a lot of eyebrows with that, man. Is that is that literally kind of on the piggyback of what you're referring to? Like, man, some of the things that did work, man, at a, at a point of not working now, or whatever, man. And some people saying, man, I feel like I was scammed out of my money when I turned around and gave money to this person or this organization for this to do it to me. Is that exactly what you were piggybacking on? Yeah, well, the thing about the last week's live stream was just that, um, you know, um, in this space, you know, you know, from uh, your experience and, and just being associated with the credit industry, whether it's business credit, personal credit, you have those individuals who um, are not on the up and up, right? So you do have people who scam people or don't do the right thing. But what I often find more so than not is that people themselves talk themselves out of something working. Oh, credit repair doesn't work because my cousin, uh, he did credit repair and this person took his money. but did they follow up with the person? Did they actually get the right information to the credit report? Did they send, uh, you know, after the first round of dispute letters, when they verified a sent letter, did you send that? You know, just things like that, right? Like even build, building business credit. Did you actually open up the vendor account? Did you go take the extra mile and become bank compliant? You know, just things that, you know, you can't, you know, people will say, you know, this is a scam, that is a scam, whatever. And I actually uh, did a, a blog on this too, man, that I'm going to drop on the channel. But um, the thing about it, um, and I kind of highlighted this, was that, you know, you have to be mindful that, you know, if, if something's working for one set of people and not working for you, it may not necessarily be a scam. It just may be that you're not trusting the process. I find that more often not than the actual person getting, you know, their money took or getting scammed. It's just that, no, this person actually put in the work. They actually did what the, the, the 80 pay that strategy said. They actually went and talked to the bankers. You know, things that we talk about, you know, on the channel. You know, when the work is put in, I find more often than not that you get results. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, you know, that's what I think a lot of people who don't, they don't want to put the work in and uh, especially when it comes to building a file correctly and uh you know there's a set of steps that you actually have to take to build that file correctly i mean elder you know you talk about that all the time even on your channel you know for those who are out there who would love to know those steps and who are taking notes what steps would those be to actually make sure that they are bank compliant and they are structuring their business correctly because we got a lot of new people who truly desire 
to get in the business and they want to build their business credit, but they're just on YouTube trying to learn from any old the Joe Blow or, you know, and it's they're just not being able to get the right information. Could you run it down again for what did he actually need to make sure that their business is bank compliant and structured the right way? Yeah, so I'll just I'll give you, you know, the quick rundown. Um, you know, so we teach just a five step process, right, to build business credit and get funded. And so basically, you know, you got step number one, form your business, right? And a lot of people even like look at me sideways when I say step number one is form the business, but you'd be surprised how many people are operating as a sole prop or don't have an entity, a LLC, S Corp, C Corp set up. So that's first and foremost, number one, we want to make sure that we're establishing our entity, whether it's LLC, C Corp, or S Corp, right? Get your EIN number, make sure you open up your business bank account as soon as possible. Um, and, and start from there. So then after step number one, step number two, you want to make sure that you become bank compliant. And essentially all that means is that you just want to look good and lendable. You want to look good on paper, right? You want to have a website. You want to have a business email with a domain name, not a Gmail, not a Yahoo, not, you know, uh, hotboy85 at gmail.com. You know, right, it's, right. Not gonna, it's not going to fly when you're trying to get a $50,000 business line of credit. Right. Um, um, you know, a website helps. Um, business address is not a, a UPS store, a mail drop, or a uh, you know any of those red flag type addresses. So that's step number two is just to become bank compliant. Um, and then step number three is you want to list your business. So you want to make sure that you visit on uh, Google My Business, Yelp, YPYellowPages.com, and then also number four, um, what's the other one? YP.com, Yelp. Uh, Google list yourself. Malicious and 411. Yeah. I got info. I'm sorry. Yeah, I like 411. Um, you list yourself. It just seems like they fell off the map for some reason. Yeah. I'm not a hundred percent sure what happened to them. Um, but it's just like it takes crazy long to get uh listed with list yourself. But they 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 they're still uh, a viable source as well. But you just want to make sure you get your business listed. You know, everybody who came to the master class this weekend, we talked about some other resources that you can. You can do the list your business a lot faster than those four, but those are the main four. Um, and then step number four in the whole five-step process, you want to build small trade lines. And this is the step I see a lot of people get stuck on, right? You know, my, my online training students, um, a lot of people in the YouTube space, they get stuck on trying to build this profile. And what I always tell people is this, you only need four trade lines, four, one, two, three, four trade lines, have a solid business profile. You don't need 10, you don't need 15, 20, 30, all these different vendor accounts, especially if you're not able to utilize them. You know, I always tell people if you can't spend at least $200 in a calendar year after you establish the four vendors that we talked about, it's really not worth it to open up a lot of vendor accounts. Um, unless you just like, you know, seeing that profile with all those trade lines. I'm not going to be mad at you for that either, but. Um, so that's step number four, um, um, build small vendor trade lines. And then step number five, we want to reach out to small, uh, small banks and credit unions and start having conversations, start finding out who are our points of contact. So when it is time to put in our applications that we have those uh, references and those relationships built. Good, 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 man. Well, you know, that, that's, that's what a lot of people uh, have not heard. They have not heard the truth about. Mm being able to build business credit like that you know as well as i know you know yeah. I, like 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 my favorite couple just say it and everything man definitely give the people the strategies versus the hacks love it because yeah. what happens is, is we get out of here and there's a lot of people man they're saying well man yeah i got a hack to do this and yeah. i have to do that no man build it out right you know you build it out right the banks are gonna go ahead and they're gonna give you funding for when it's time for your for your business so you can expand your business but, you know, I get a lot. I get a lot, man, Arthur, you don't even understand. Similar mm -hmm. to a lot of new businesses that said, hey, man, I actually had a, a business structure set up, but I didn't have all these other entities. They didn't have it listed, you know, uh, the Google site or anything else, the, web, the website, the professional email address or, you know, or they even may be running it out of a wrong address where, uh, you know, we talked about that even on your show where yeah. they had people saying, well, yeah, I, I use a postal service address. You know, could you explain to the people, man, even on the postal side of things, of structuring your business like that, what is the right way and the correct way to be able to structure that business so it is compliant on that end? 
Yeah, so what I, I typically say is um, try to find a location that is uh, like a shared office space. That's where the move is. A lot of, I'm um, telling a lot of people to shift to shared office spaces. And that could be as simple as like an office suite where maybe you don't necessarily have a dedicated office, but you have like a desk that you can set up where people can come and meet you. Um, you got places like uh, Regis, they have one called Spaces. Uh, works, I believe, is the website spacesworks.com. Okay. Um, you also have places like Venture X. Now, the one one thing, the downside of Venture X, they're not in every major city, so you okay. will have to check and see if they're in your city. But I like them a lot because they're pretty affordable and they uh, they offer virtual address, so where you can you know use the address. It's a physical location. If the bank was to Google it, it would bring up like a physical building, an office building. That's what we mean because a lot of these um, virtual office providers, and I even did a, a, a live stream talking about how to find, you know, how to choose a virtual address. And a lot of people were saying that, you know, sometimes it may be a storage unit facility or it may be a, um, a package store or just like a mail drop store. And what happens is when you list these on like your DMV profile or your Experian profile, they make a note of that because what a lot of people don't know is whatever you put on your DMV uh, profile, your dashboard, they go back and they cross reference that. So if at any time things don't line up or they don't add up, they'll make a note that this is not a physical location. This is an office drop, mail drop store. So, you know, just being mindful of that and just taking the necessary steps. I always tell people, you know, spend the extra money. If you can get the Opus package, the $99 a month package. Um, it's going to come with the actual office space. Now, you do want to put the actual location with Opus because I ran into some issues with uh, one of my LLCs in Georgia. Um, I had to actually switch to Spaces Works over by the, uh, by the ballpark, Truist okay. Park. So you do have different, you know, scenarios. One, one tip I always tell people before you select a uh, virtual office, just try to drive by the location. If you can't get out, walk around, walk inside, make sure it's legit on the up and up. And then if everything checks off the boxes, um, then you're good to go because, you know, I even give you, a, um, you know, give your audience some game on why that's important is because a lot of these banks, what they'll do is they'll do site visits, right? Where they'll actually pull up to the location, walk around, take pictures sometimes and make sure that everything is on the up and up. So if you say you're doing $2 million and you're doing it out of a, out of a PO box, they're going to have some questions. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. You know what I'm so. So, so, so it is, so they are, and banks do do that for those who, who need to know that, that they do verify that particular site of where you're actually listing your bank at or yeah. listing your address on your business at. So keep in mind that that is huge. Now I get a lot of people, Audrey, you know, and uh, this is a good question that my guy Rod said, if I see the word hack in the title or a video, I won't even watch it. And I'm all in if I see strategies. So y'all hear me talk about strategy on my channel all the time. Shout out to my guy, Points Blank Travel, man. Y'all go make sure right. y'all follow the channel, like, subscribe my guy's channel as well. But yeah, Rod is right, man. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people say, well, man, we know this hack to get this funding in. We yeah. know what we need to do. Well, you can look at the profile and spend it on what we're talking about. And you can say, well, man, look at your address that you got on here. And they got some address mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Like you said, where the banks will go and look around that, that physical building and say, man, it's not a physical address. Is it? This ain't where your bank is. This is where your business yeah. is at. So we're not going to give you no money, man. Like, really? Nah, man. They, they they really cracking down. And the thing, too, is that um, you'll see people in these Facebook groups and online. They'll say, well, you know. I was able to do it with iPostal and whatnot, and it's like you barely skating by, but as a business owner, do you really want to be living on the edge? Do you really want to always be just, you know, doing the bare minimum to, you know, be bank compliant? You know, just take the extra time, build out the profile, you know, invest in a, you know, a solid virtual office. If you can get a shared office space like Spaces or, uh, you know, Venture X, but you just got to, you got to, think with the long you gotta think from a long-term perspective and that's one thing you know for everybody who came to the master class the game we giving you is not just for today it's not just for next week it's for next year two years three years from now you know what i mean it's it's, it's a rinse and repeat situation so 
Um, if we play in the long game, which I, you know, I always tell people with credit, it's the long game. It's not the hacks and, the, you know, give me all the data points and then, you know, uh, what's the play here, what's the play there. Yeah, we give you some plays, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, if your personal credit is structured properly, you won't need a play. You won't need right. a, uh, a hack to get whatever funding you're trying to get. You'll already be in position. And that's the main thing, just be in position. Yeah. Well, you know, you see a lot of that. Um, and even on your channel, man, I've seen a lot of people come back to you and was just like, man, Audrey, man, I got all of these little, they may got some vendor accounts. And, and what mm -hmm. we're speaking on, what Audrey is speaking on, we're, we're actually going to be precisely telling you this. Vendor accounts are accounts that you can easily get, like, you know, the Quill and, you know, the Uline and, you know, even some of the other ones that they actually got out there like that. What it is, Strategic Network is, and some of the other ones. Some of them are not even reporting, you know, believe it or not. So the right. things change. So Audrey's talking about some of the other lines that are bank compliant lines like Synchrony Bank when you start backing some things up. Uh, mm -hmm. And synchrony may kind of peek in on there, some of those things, but more say so the bigger funding when you start doing small banks and, and credit unions and all of that, you're trying to start getting lines and trying to expand your business. That is important in the strategies that actually Audrey is speaking of, of making sure that business is compliant. So you're actually getting banks that got money behind it. Right. Not just somebody you ordering office supplies and, you know, you out there, man, you, most of y'all not even going to use, you know, the detergent that y'all got to use. Y'all barely use the tides you're using now. You know, you try to order uh, two 50-pound barrels and everything, man, or some off-brand from you. Man, stop all that, man. Use is going to be in your business if you, if you guys are uh, in clerical or whatever business, man. If it's going to be office, make sure that you're using something. But all you're saying is don't just be picking out stuff to load your account down with all of this stuff and you're not getting any funding or any benefits from behind it, man, for yeah. real. Yeah, and the thing too, you know, um, even when I came into the game, you know, just putting out content, the strategy that I put out, you know, it didn't even involve any real in-depth net 30s, right? Two nav accounts, two gas cards, and you be in and out. You know, you could be done with it in 45, 60 days. Um, now explain that strategy for you because I know you're going fast with it, but break it down because this is the man who I learned the 80 paid straight acts in like 90 days from that his video went viral. So break that down to them about that 80 paid extra just a little bit slower for those in the back who need to yeah, hear. So, so uh, and I'll just give you the backstory. So the reason why I even kind of got into the space and why um, it was um, – important for me to kind of come in and, and give game on a, a level where people could simplify the process, right? Like that's our motto, business funding made easy. <laughs> but the thing about it was that um, I would see a lot of people complaining, this, that report, that, that report, but I, in my mind, you know, and just reading the comments, I'm like, if you just get two nav accounts and two gas cards, you don't even have to worry about it, right? <laughs> so basically, um, for those of you who are not familiar, you know, nav is a, um, it actually, just to give you a history on it nav actually was at one point called credit terror that's why if you ever notice on your nav business loan builder plan you can get your sbss score which is a fico generated sba score right that is because um credit terror who was bought out by nav used to provide that score that's a fico generated score just for the audience to kind of understand uh, but basically, nav.com, they're similar to like the Credit Karma of business credit. But what they do is they will provide you with all three of your business credit uh, scores, right? From Dun & Bradstreet, Business Equifax, Business Experience. And they have two different paid plans that actually report a trade line. So they have the Business Boost Plan and they have the Business Loan Builder Plan. Now, the Loan Builder Plan will give you that SBSS score that I was mentioning earlier. So basically, what you do with those two plans is, if you have two different emails, I have to stress this. So what you want to do is you want to set up one account quarterly, right? So that means you pay three months in advance. So I normally say pay the loan builder plan quarterly, but you can do the boost or however, which one of it, it doesn't matter. Just pay one of those quarterly and then you pay the other one monthly, okay? So you pay one quarterly, pay one monthly, right? With two different emails. So that's the, the whole strategy behind it. You have to set up each account with a different email. It could be one business, one personal, 
or it could be too business, too personal. It's not important. It just can't be the same email. What type of email it is, not you know necessary important. So you set up one quarterly, you set up one monthly, right? And then those two will report two trade lines to the business group. So that'll be a two first two trade lines of Dun & Bradstreet, business experience, and business Equifax. Now, for those that say, hey, well, you know, I looked on my nav, it's not showing two, you have to get the raw data file. That's why we teach you in our online training program, you know, on my channel. You have to get your DMV dashboard. It's free. That's where you will see those two nav accounts. You won't see it in NAV sometimes because they're third party. They're like the middleman. Um, so you won't see the raw data file. It's not coming directly from DMV servers. It's coming through NAV system. So you get your two NAV accounts, right? You set them up quarterly and monthly uh, with two different emails. And then you get your two gas cards. Now, I'm personally a fan of the BP MasterCard and the Fuelman MasterCard setup. I like both of those. They're backed by Fleet Corps. Um, it'll even get you into now the uh, core pay family uh, wow. you know, back by fleet core as well. Right. So you get your two gas cards. Um, I used to promote the Wex card back when I first was teaching the strategy, but Wex has been really, really strict with the underwriting. Now they're even telling people if you put up a deposit for the gas card, they're, they're saying that they won't unsecure for 12 until 12 months. We just found that out this weekend. It wow. Used to be strict. Yeah. Yeah. So, Wex is not not a player in my in, in, in this strategy, so I will go with the Fuel Man and uh, the BP Mastercard as the two two car setup. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let those report those report to all three business bureaus, and that's your four trade lines right there. That's a lot of game for y'all out there, man. That he just really laid down, man. Like even even yeah. even Miss Reagan just had to say this information is so electric. Love the unity. We are fortunate to be a part of. Let's spread this knowledge. We complete. We don't compete, man. Absolutely. All facts. All Absolutely. facts, man. You know, and that's what we're trying to do, man. We're trying to. I mean, if Reagan was a part of your uh, mastermind, yeah. you know, this weekend, Absolutely. man. Could you tell the people, man? You know, what, 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 what did they, what did they go through? What did they learn a little bit in your master class? Because you, be, you, you've been doing this. And, and really, you know, breaking some bread down with some things, man, that you're doing. Yeah. So basically what we do at the master class, we really just give you the whole blueprint. Like I said, it's the, really the only blueprint, the only game plan that you need in order to get funding for your business. Right. So we really break down how to actually structure your personal credit. Right. Because you hear a lot of people saying that, um, you know, I have, you know, credit builder accounts or. Uh, or rent reporters or things like that. But what they don't know is sometimes those type of trade lines on your personal credit profile actually hurts your personal credit profile. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you have bank issue credit, right? There's different bank tiers. You have tier one banks, tier two, tier three, right? Those are what give you the most value on your credit report. Having that Amex on your credit report, having that you know tier one bank from Chase or Bank of America or um, even City or Wells Fargo, having one of those in your portfolio on your personal side will improve your, per your, your, you know, your access to being, you know, having access to capital. So we really break that down, really show you how to actually do some, you know, some advanced, not advanced, but some more higher level funding strategies that I don't really like to teach uh, to the public because yes. the thing about credit I've learned and I even experienced myself, sometimes it can be like a loaded gun. So I try to do it in a setting where I'm actually showing you the strategies, breaking down in detail, step by step on how to actually implement this into your, your funding funding matrix, I like to call it, right? Mm -hmm. How do you go from no funding to being able to go to any bank and get funding? That's literally what we teach at the master class, how to actually go from, you know, not having an optimized profile to being fully optimized on the personal side. So now when we step foot in that bank, when step five comes, we're having those conversations, we know exactly what play to run at every single bank that we go to. Yeah, and that that's huge because there's a lot of people, Audrey, who who just believe that the moment that they structured, they got the business, they registered their business, they yeah. added a couple of little trade lines from yeah. Quill and some of these other little small net thirty accounts, and oh man, I'm I'm ready to go get funding and. As you're saying, you know, like, hey man, it's something way bigger than that. It's deeper than that. Yeah. And you teach this yeah. in your master class. Yeah, and the thing too, I always tell people, you know, if, if the person you're learning from or the person who's teaching you 
They can't get past the net 30s. They never talk about banks. They never talk about, you know, uh, some strategies, or, you know, tier one banks, or if they're only preaching, you know, vendor credit, then you got to ask yourself, um, is that what you want for your business? If it is, you know, then fine, rock out. But if your ultimate goal, and I see this all the time, people posting in Facebook group, hey, guys, how do I get $300,000 in funding? Well, it ain't going to come from doing all these net 30s. Yeah. Said, yeah, you ain't going to get no $300,000 getting no, uh, no gas cars for sure. So, right. you know, you just got to kind of understand what your goals are. What are you trying to, you know, specifically do? That's why I say I think that video uh, that did take off, I think it was the second live stream I put out, mm-hmm. uh, it did take off because it was straight to the point. I didn't because yeah. you gotta think at the time, just just think about it, right? I didn't even have a platform. I'm new to YouTube. Like, you know, I don't know how to do anything. So I just got right to it. From the open from the time that video start to the time it go off, I'm just spitting game. It ain't no right. intro, it ain't no hey guys, welcome, you know, none. It's just it's just game. So I think that's what we gotta get back to. It's game. And, and you know what, man? You are 100% correct, man, even on the L.A. Law scene. Yes, I love it. I'm always learning uh, valuable information. And, you know, Law was actually in uh, the master class, man, that actually came from that, man. My guy say, my guy Ryan say, man, yeah, really, man, that's real talk, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah right, real talk. Listen, right, you know, it, it, it comes to the point to where, where, you can't be fluffing around out here and mm-hmm. giving people, you know, information and the information is out here and it's not, it's not the way that it should be. And you giving everybody all fluff and mm-hmm. no results. And sometimes people need to hear that. I don't want you to tell me, you know, all of this other stuff and, and I'm spending out all of this money and I'm spending my wheels and I'm not doing anything. People right. want to hear the raw. So that's what, you know, you know, Carolina, you you definitely been on your channel, man. Just giving the raw, especially with your communities and and yeah. see the Facebook lighting up, approvals each and every single week. Y'all, this man got a track record behind him. So don't think this is just some lightweight yeah, who coming yeah. on the show. Oh yeah, Drew brought this man on the show, and I don't know it, man. Listen, this man is the real deal and knows exactly this thing. He didn't come up overnight. He said that he, you know, again, he didn't put some time to work in and his background has been around banks and how to structure things to be able to get money. For years, he's been in here doing what he's doing. So yeah. we're, we're definitely proud of what Audrey is doing out here, man, for for real, for real. My thing is now, Audrey, you know, there's some people and, and I, you know, I got a couple of questions, man. There's some people, man, who have messed up their credit, you know, their business credit. Is there a way, and then I want also, it's a two-fold answer. Uh, yeah. And then also, is there a way where you can get funding out here, even if your personal credit is messed up? So give the people, man, a way that, that they can actually fix their business credit if they ever had started a business and probably ran mm-hmm. some hard times and, you know, boom, you know, their the score started falling down and literally it's it, it's really like impacted them. And then also give the people, man, uh, the real deal on uh, the, about the no PG funding out here, man. Myth or facts? Now, I mean, well, I'll speak to the first question, man. Um, if you have situations where, let's say, you missed a payment or something it was wonky on your profile, uh, specific, speaking specifically to DNB, um, you can dispute any of that stuff well, with their credit builder uh, pay package. I think it's one forty nine a month. And basically what happened is, let's say if you had a late payment or a trade line that just, you know, went negative for, you know, 60 days plus uh, status on your business profile, you can dispute it. And nine times out of 10, what me and will do with the credit bill to, uh, plan and they'll just remove it from the profile completely. Wow. So you'll just lose the whole trade line. Now, um, one thing, if you just missed a payment by like a day or two and they reported it, you know, slow pay or whatever. Just make sure when you order from that vendor again, just pay super, super early. So pay like 14 days in advance and then it'll come back. You know, your scores will come back around. Um, what, what most people scores when they see in, uh, fluctuations in their scores, when they're adding different trade lines. And so what you want to do is, um, and I even talked about this this weekend, is you want to spend as much money with these vendors in tier one as possible. It's close to $2,000 across all your tier one vendors as you can get. 
because okay. you don't get credit. Um, like, for instance, if you have a Bank of America, right, $10,000 personal credit card, that limit reports with whatever your balance is. So you can okay. get credit for both. Well, on business credit, you don't get credit for having that $10,000 limit. You only get credit for what you spend. So if you only spend $1,000, that's what you get credit for. So you have to be mindful of that. That's why a lot of people just try to do the bare minimum, spend 50 bucks, hope and pray it reports. No, you, you may want to spend 150. You may want to spend 100. That's why I'm a fan of the gas cards because it's easy. I mean, with the gas prices the way it is now, yeah. it's yeah. easy to spend $200, $300 on some gas in 30 days. That's that's no brain. <laughs> yeah. 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 And that's something that everybody needs, man, is in your car, mm -hmm. especially if you're traveling back and forth or trying to get around and stuff like that man we definitely need that man so for sure for sure so yeah, yeah man thank you for that man but now you gotta elaborate on part two shout out to yeah. your peak birthday girl happy birthday to you happy birthday but yeah so in regards to um funding when you have per bad personal credit one strategy um that i teach and i i i like to use is um credit part so basically um let's just say if you have a business partner who has an 850 credit score well maybe we take their 850 credit score we form an llc maybe they 95 percent owner i'm five percent owner right maybe i'm on a business bank account maybe i'm not um you know talk to your tax professional and your attorney uh or structure in that but you know now that that person is majority owner they can sign off in pg for all the business credit cards all the business lines loans whatever and then you know, let's say you got bad credit due to utilization, right? Let's say utilization high. Maybe you get a business line for 20K, pay off the personal. Now it's on the business, it's not impacting your scores go up, and then y'all, you know, get back in line and, and get back to it. Um, now, um, another thing you can do, even if you have bad personal credit, there are lenders, right? And we partner with one that's pretty solid, uh, where they'll do it based off the business revenue. Now, I do want to preface that, you know, you want to be making, you know, eight to 10 K a month in your business bank account over a three to six month track time frame. So, you okay, do so why is that it. so important? Audrey, I don't mean to interrupt, but why is that so important? Because I got a lot of people, man, who always ask that question and they say, well, man, you know what? I may be only making not, not enough uh, money or mm -hmm. making no money or three to five. Like, why is that number so important? And, and could you kind of go through that with the banks? Or why they look for certain numbers like that for funding? Yeah, now nah, that's a great question. And the reason being is that um, they got to make sure that you can service the debt because typically when you go to no PG route, right, no personal guarantee for those who are not familiar with the term PG, basically they have to land at a higher rate. So they have typically higher rates on basically any type of funding that you can get cheaper at a, at a, a bank, right? So if it's a line of credit, an auto loan, credit card, whatever the case may be. But the beauty of these lenders is that um, let's say you did use your personal credit and got the business up and running. Now you make it 20, 30,000. Well, they'll give you a, you know, a line of 50,000 and then now you can maybe pay back some of your personal debt, keep that off the personal. And then you go and clean it up with some, with some business funding. And then now you pay them back and now you're out of, you know, you're out of that high interest debt. So it's always a way. I always try to tell people, you know, it's, it's, it's multiple ways to get, get funding. What you just really got to drill down and understand is that what are your goals? You know, I, often people will email me, they'll, they'll DM me, they'll ask me, you know, I just had a quick question. And my first question, my response to them is, what are your goals? I can't even really answer the question properly if I don't know what your goals are. Because depending on what your goal is, if this is just to get your first $20,000 business credit card, I may tell you, just go and watch some of the channel, videos on the channel. And then, you know, go try to, run, you know, run a play or two. And then come back and holler at me, right? Um, but if right. it's to get, you know, the 150, 200, 300,000, then we got to structure the personal credit. We got to make sure that we're making those, you know, proper bank contacts and things like that. Um, so there are ways that you can get no PG funding in the term of vehicle auto loans. You have banks like Ally, um, you have Divi, um, Brex, but, you know, you got to be, you got to be making the register ring. Right. Right. So, 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 so do you have to actually, so do you believe that someone who is, you know, let's just say that they, they may be working a job and uh, they're working a job. They're trying to go on ahead and trying to build their business up. They say, well, man, look, my business don't got no money flowing through it right now. 
but they got great ideas. They got great aspirations. There's a lot of things that they know that once their business takes off, it's really going to start making revenue. What yeah. could they possibly do to probably supplement uh, the cash flow and being able to show that while they're just only being able to maintain their personal while yet waiting on their business to take off? What What are some strategies that they could possibly do for that? Um, now, if it's, if it's a business that, you know, um, you're looking to get funded from startup perspective, you know, business credit cards are one of my favorite tools. For, and the reason being is that 0% interest for, you know, 6, 12, 18 months. Man. That tool is very, very powerful when you're talking about, um, you know, let's say for Airbnb sake, right? You could get, you know, maybe two or three Airbnbs going. Now you're bringing in 15, 20,000. Now, when you sit down with that banker and you got those, you know, that P&L, um, they can see that you can service the debt. That's all the bank's really looking at, right? Um, you don't need a super, super elaborate business plan and where you want to be in 10 years and fight your five-year plan. Over the next 36 months, this is what we project year one revenue to be, year two, year three. And we can use, you know, a $30,000 line to pay for employees, pay for marketing, and cover payroll for the next two years or something to that effect, right? You just want to, the bank is just looking at your numbers. So I would say first and foremost, um, try to figure out, and it has to be a non-emotional conversation because what I often find too, and I always tell people, don't try to fund your dream business. Just pick a business mm -hmm. that you can get, get to, you know, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 in revenue, and then that LLC can then fund your dream business, right? So uh, one of the things we talked about this weekend was like having a management company. That management company could be your, your uh, let's say your dream business is to uh, uh, maybe own a lawn care business, right? But the lawn care business may take a little while to fund. You might hop off into credit repair, right? And make, you know, ten fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. So let's make the management company, if the, the, how's the credit repair up under the management company, now, when we sit down and talk to PNC or BBT, or excuse me, Truist, they can see that, hey, over the last six months, we've been doing about ten, fifteen thousand dollars in revenue. We have a business relationship, and the conversation is a little easier. So now, let's say BBT gives you that forty thousand dollar business line. Maybe you take twenty, and then now you start the actual lawn care business with the twenty thousand line that you took from, you know, the credit repair business. And the credit repair business is still. It's still operating. So I always say, you know, don't try to fund your dream. Um, if if it's something that, you know, requires, you know, work. I, I'll never say don't follow your dream, but I will say, you know, try to find a business that you can get to that eight to 10,000, you know, a notary. Uh, a lot of people sleeping on, you know, starting a um, mobile notary business, man. That is very, very lucrative, very, very profitable. Um, and you, you could really run it up, uh, easily being a mobile notary. Yeah. Wow. So, so, so you're giving like game, like, um, of having something, even if they're not into their business or their dream business or whatever, yeah. you know, have something else coming mm -hmm. in, some sort of income, whether yeah. that can be uh, a lot of different things. Does what Uber count as one of those? Because I, I spoke about that, you know. Yeah. Like, you, can that's Uber, Uber, uh, that. you can have your Uber deposits going into your business bank account. Uh, I'm not too familiar with how. I'm, I'm pretty sure you could probably get paid out to your business bank account. You connected because uh, I used to do Uber Eats myself, man, back in the grind days. So yeah. you could connect. Yeah. You could connect a. Um, a, a bank account. They don't. I don't think they check on whether it's business or personal. So you could definitely, most definitely, just set up your business bank account and uh, get those deposits into there. Because the more deposits, the better. You know, even if you ran multiple. You know, if, if I'm, I'm a fan of, um, you know, simplification, simplifying things. So mm -hmm. if it's Uber that can get me to that first 50k line in credit. Let's just do the Uber play and then we'll worry about the landscape on the back end, right? We'll still be working on a business plan. I would, I would still suggest, you know, get with score. You know, that's that's your, that's gonna be a great resource in every major city, every state. There's a score chapter um, that you can reach out to for free coaching, free mentorship. Uh, I volunteer with score as well. Um, and it's a great platform. You know, they are um, affiliated with the SBA. So if there's any challenges, you know, you can get help uh, to get the funding. 
But, you know, just don't rely on a business plan. Have a business model. Have some type of way that you can show profit at the end of 30 days. I really stress that a lot. Uh, we actually, uh, in, a, in an entrepreneur group that I'm a part of, uh, we actually read a book called Profit First. Um, and that book is a game changer, man. I actually have a, um, there's a there's a, another author, Suzanne Margie. I have a book back here on my shelf. But she came up with a uh, profit first for minority-owned businesses specifically. And okay. that book is a game changer. So for anybody exactly. that's watching this on the replay or if you're watching live, I would definitely check out that profit first for minority-owned businesses. Because what she basically explains is the fact that you have to account for being profitable. And if you really think about it, that's what the banks are looking at. What's the bottom line? You're looking at the top line number. Uh, I mean, excuse me. Yeah, you're looking at the top line number. Hey, we made eight, ten, thirty thousand dollars in sales. But if you're only taking home fifteen hundred, then that's a problem. Or we got to figure out how we can grow that. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So that and that is, that is a huge problem. If you're only taking that home, your net, you gross this, you got sales this, mm -hmm. and it's it's down here. The banks are actually looking at that, man. And you know, we got we got a couple of questions and stuff like that, man. Do it, do it. Uh, Sharon says so. I'll let you go ahead and read it, Audrey. Uh, she says, so when I set up a business bank account, I can have my part-time job, which is PCA, going to my business account. Does it matter on the amount? Um, I would talk to your tax professional about your part-time. What I would what I would suggest. And, it, you know, this is, it works perfect. You know, just open up a business and personal. So for me, like um, I gave the example of me, um, I have business accounts and I have personal accounts with Bank of America. So they can see everything. You know, same thing with BB&T Truist. Same thing with uh, True Lion Federal Credit Union. Business and personal. Business and personal. And just, you know, keep those deposits flowing into your personal Sharon. And uh, over time, they'll start to see that, okay, because you got to think, your LLC, right? Yes, it separates you, you know, from liability and legally, but it's still you. It's still one and the same, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, people try to brand name their LLC. And I'm telling them, like, man, just keep it simple. Don't do it. Don't go out here and get all these Lambo Drew LLC. You know, just keep it simple, man. Keep it, you know, Carolina's own. Family tree LLC, yeah. you know, <laughs> trying to brand name it and nah, just keep it keep it simple. But uh, but to answer your question, yeah, just I would say, um, Sharon, set up a personal account, whether that's Chase, whoever you banking with on the business side, and just have your part time job money going to that personal. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. I think Sharon got that. She say profit cool. first book. Cool. Oh, 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 okay. Um, it is Suzanne Margia. Can y'all see that? Yes. Yeah, that's her. So that's her book, Profit First for Minority Business Enterprise. I didn't get to read as much of it as I wanted to, um, but it's a great book. From what I read so far, it's, it's a game changer, man, because she talks about some of the struggles as we as entrepreneurs getting access to capital, too, as a minority-owned business. So, you know, that's part of my mission, man, is to really change the game with that, man. Um, not just, like you say, the crap, the hacks. I get tired of hearing that, you know, hacks, yes. hacks, hacks. Our community need more than hacks. We need a lot more strategy. We need a lot more, you know, coming together, collaboration. We need to be having these conversations, you know. We, we we really got to get out of the mind frame of just you know living hack the hack. It, it don't last too long. Yeah, the hack gets you in and gets you out, <laughs> but sometimes that hack may get you hacked up, man. I'm telling you this right now. <laughs> All the hacks ain't right, yeah, hacks, man. Yeah, man. So y'all y'all yeah. be surprised who hacking something, man. If it's a hack, I'm like I'm like my guy PBT, man. Ross say, yo, I turn it off. Like if it's a hack, I, I ain't got time for it, man. Yeah. I, I love my freedom, man, and I love, especially if you for those who are out there uh, who don't know, man. I, I've been doing credit repair for the last fifteen years and taught some of the best and mentorship program of some of the best. Uh, yeah. And I can tell you that every hack, and somebody comes out, yeah, I got this new hack, and then I'll start looking at him. I say, well, don't worry about it. I'm gonna wait to see how you're doing with your hack, because right. sometimes being able to structure this thing properly. Yeah. And get the negatives off properly. It takes time. And I'm telling you guys just right now out here, 
the same people who came with those hacks is right now doing fair time or even people in that thing. I'm telling you, uh, have messed up their profile. I've, I've heard the horror stories where they didn't turn around, clean the file off. And then the people came back. They got all of this money. They got all of these cars, started shutting everything down. And then they credit went right back down in the tube. So y'all be careful out there, man, for some of those hacks. That's all me and Audrey are talking about, man. And, and one thing I'll add to that, man, is, um, you know, credit repair doesn't solve your biggest problem, right? And I talk about that. And the reason why I say that is, you know, one 30-day late from like four years ago and somebody who has a credit repair business telling, oh, let's get it removed, let's get it. It's only impacting you for the first 24 months of that trade line. So if you if you had it for 48 months or four years, and you, know, you, know, you had you missed the first payment. Let's keep that. Let's 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 let that rock out. Let's, yeah. let's, let's not be yeah. in pace, you know, doing too much, right? But you have people who teach this credit sweep, credit, you know, uh, delete all negative items. Some things we gotta let it breathe, right? Uh, yeah. So yeah, you just you just gotta, and that's why I like to educate, right? I like to you know give game. You know we do the master classes. Uh, we're gonna be restructuring that too, man. So we're gonna bring it to a lot more people, man. I keep you posted on that. Yeah. But um, it's just it's just it's tragic, man, to see how you know information can be used for good and bad. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we we trying to help y'all out here for y'all to stay stay free, man, out here. Like you said. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just the, that's just the one part of it. Like I said, the information gets off of the file, even with the credit repair and all of that. But you're still liable for the debt. And I tell everybody mm -hmm. that, man, make sure you guys, whatever you guys can do, if you're going to go get some funding, get some funding to go ahead and take care of the debt. man. Yeah. So, all right. So we got another question. Nicole, go ahead and read it. I'll let you read it. Mr. Cole, what's going on, Nicole? She says, uh. Hi, can you apply for the Fieldman Fleet Card and the BP Business Solutions Card at the same time? I know you cannot apply for multiple WEX cards. Yeah, so WEX, yeah, that's, that's a red flag with WEX. What I would suggest, Nicole, is apply for the BP MasterCard, get that approval, and then maybe circle back 14 days later, seven, seven to 14 days later, and get the Fieldman. Um, you know, now if you do them at the same time, because I had, you know, my homie Kia, she did. Both of them within like a week and got approved for both of them for big limits. So it really, um, it's not a, a deal breaker. But yeah, I would say, you know, just break it up, give it about seven to 10 days and then try the next one. Okay. You know, uh, I, I got to add, you got, you got to, you know, for those who are out there, why Audrey is also stressing this, um, this BP man and his fuel man, the MasterCard is you got to tell them, man, because those cards actually, can upgrade uh, and they yeah. unsecure. So talk to them a little bit for those who are out there in, in that. They're just not a yeah, gas yeah, card. You can, get, you can get the, uh, I don't know if you can see that. My camera is, uh, it's, it's tripping. But it's tripping, man. The, um, the BP unsecured version. So you can get, actually get it to where the unsecured and become a full-blown MasterCard, right? So like I, I bought an online marketing course with it. Uh, I've used it for some other different things in, in my uh, in my business, but yeah, you can actually um, what they'll do uh, is you know after about the third payment, if you after the third billing cycle, excuse me, um, you can either they'll review your account or you can review your account, uh, ask them to review it and see if they that you're eligible to have it become a unsecured just regular Mastercard. That's why I like to get the Mastercard because the fleet cards are easier to get. You can get the fleet card. Excuse me, you get the fleet cards easy um, in tier one, so to speak. I don't even talk in tiers anymore. That's another red flag, but we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. talk about that another day. Um, but, yeah, you know, the BP fleet card, you could pretty much get, but it'll never upgrade to the MasterCard. It'll always be a fleet card. So you have to even apply for the MasterCard. But if you apply for the gas card, you know, you'll get the one that says for vehicles and maintenance only. And then after the third uh, billing cycle, you can request a, a account review or ask. I mean, they'll do account review. It just depends on, um, you know, how your profile is set up uh, on the business side. Um, and I want to say they do a soft pool, but I, I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Okay. Now, now, does that work for the Fuel Man MasterCard, too? Or is it just yeah, the it works for Fuel Man, too. And the okay. uh, Universal Fleet. Really? Yeah. So any of those... Any of those Anything that's Fleet Core uh, with the MasterCard logo, 
It'll work. It'll work. Wow, that's that's some game out there for y'all. Um, it has to be the MasterCard because they have the fleet card too. So you want the one that have the mat. That's why I would say get the uh, gas cards that have the 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 logo. Because like the Wex cards don't have a logo; they just say Wex on the back. Right. Like the, uh, the Shell card. It just says Wex on the back, so you can only use it for gas. And I think this one, Chiffy Lou. But uh, but yeah, if it's a um, the Mastercard version, yeah, it will unsecure. Awesome, that's some serious game for y'all out there, man. Uh, for mm -hmm. those who out there who truly desire to want that, man. And that's part of mm -hmm. one of the no PG hacks that yeah, you know. Exactly. Now that ain't a hack. That's a strategy. I take that back. That's one of the no PG strategies out there, y'all. Uh, for those who are out there and who desire to actually have lines uh, to start to unsecure that you guys can do. Which the mm -hmm. other one being, man, that 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 Sam's Club. Talk to them about that Sam's Club. Yeah, yeah. Sam's is good. Um, I think with Sam's right now, they're starting everybody off with the store card, and then after your first bill, you can ask to apply for the Mastercard. That's what I'm seeing a lot lately. Uh, so yeah, if you get approved, um, even if you get a lower limit, you know, if you only got like two experienced trade lines and a high score, if you get the 2,500, don't worry, um, just use it. Maybe after the first bill, uh, call them up and apply for the MasterCard and you should be able to get, uh, easily converted to a MasterCard. And that's another one that you can use, you know, just for anything you need for working capital. Wow. So the Sam's Club MasterCard, y'all, those who are out there uh, and you got your businesses probably set up, uh, yeah. you got to go to apply. And, you know, Audrey even talks about that even on his channel. Make sure yeah. you go apply in the store uh, at the customer service, not up yeah. not up at the register or nothing like that, at customer service. Yeah, we have to do it at the, uh, at the membership desk. Yeah. And uh, one thing, too, I always tell people, you don't need that plus membership. You don't need to okay. pay more than a $40 membership. I think it's $45. And what um, I guess the thought behind it, people think, well, if I pay for the membership, I'll get approved. But that's really not the case because you could put the membership in your name or the business name and then still apply for the business uh, store card or mascot. So 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 you don't need that. Uh, I think it's one hundred dollars for the plus. Yeah. Um, yeah. You don't you don't need that plus membership. You can just get the regular uh, membership for forty five bucks for the year. And uh, I want to say if you go now to Sam's, they give you $30 back just for using the car. I think if you use it, I think you got to spend $30 and they give it back. So basically the membership is like 15 bucks. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how long that's going to last, so I had to throw that out there. <laughs> man, man. man, listen, y'all. Y'all getting some game tonight, man, even being able to save on – Sam's Club, man, membership, man. Y'all better, y'all better jump on it, man. For the ones who are out yeah, here, get some of that cheap gas, man. Sam's got the best uh, prices of gas in the city. I'm in Charlotte, so I'm yeah. not in Denver, but yeah, out here, yeah. man. These Sam lines be so long <laughs> out the out the gate. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. These these lines be long out the gate. Yes, yeah. So so it is something serious. So for y'all who are out here, I'm telling tell y'all right now, you know, uh, make sure if, if, if definitely you guys are on the broadcast, man, uh, take advantage of that Sam Club that Audrey just dropped. Uh, wow. A lot of knowledge out here off of that mm -hmm. as well. So yeah, you guys yeah. don't even understand how big that is. So, man, I think last week we was on the broadcast. We was giving out. We was giving out gas, man. Gas, right. man. Cash I mean, we're going to do some giveaways, man, man uh, for the next master class. I think we're going to set the date this week, but I'm going to start, you know, I ain't going to give out no, no uh, give, we just going to give straight gas cards, man. It's yeah. Brutal out here, man. Yeah, it's get, it is. It's getting brutal out here, you know, and, hey, it is what it is out here. When I, when I see y'all with this gas, I'll be like, whoo, boy, that, that's rough. But you know what? If you're on the channel, I'm dropping two tonight. Join the channel tonight. And if, if you know anybody who need gas, man, y'all listen. Y'all make sure y'all hit this leverage up. I'm just dropping two fifty dollars gas. Y'all go mm -hmm. ahead, man. Y'all text y'all number, man, to this number right here, 612-547-8826. Hit me with your cash app, and I'm shooting you gas. Shooting you gas. Got two gas prizes out here for the day. Just because it's my guy, Carolina's own on here, man. Man, and we talking about the gas. Y'all out. 
Y'all know somebody need gas. Y'all better be texting them with y'all cash app. So we can go ahead, man, and get uh, get this right. The BP MasterCard, uh, if you're local here in Charlotte or in North Carolina, the BP gas stations, when you shop at uh, Harris Teeter, it's a gas, I mean, a a grocery store here in Charlotte, they give you fuel points for every, I want to say every Vic. So basically, they have like the uh, grocery store rewards, right? The Vic. Right. When you use your Vic card for every dollar that you spend, I think you get a gas point. So you could literally get almost 10 to 20 cents per gallon off on your gas. And then when you use that BP MasterCard, you're still building your business credit. But that's only a BP station. So that's just another little tip for everybody watching in the Carolina. Hey. Anything you do to save on this gas, man. Anything you do to save on this gas, look, I'm I'm here for y'all because that's day. Hey, look, this is what this channel is about, man, to be blessed, man, and, and just yeah. to get back the strategy, the game, and everything else that we can. Uh for sure, for sure. Oh, definitely, definitely. Uh my god, man, the people's already coming through, showing love already, yeah. man. Look at it, man. The gas is on the line. I got y'all, you know. <laughs> got y'all, you know. We're gonna make we gonna make it do what it do, man. So shout out to you, man. So yeah, um, for real, for real, Audrey. I, man, I really want to thank you, dude, for you yeah. coming in, tapping in tonight, man, and just showing Long some overdue, love. Man. Long overdue, man. I just Long been- overdue. We've been trying to do this for, yeah. for a minute now, you know. Look, look, Sharon was just like. Yup, regular is forty five dollars and plus is a hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, forty five dollars to fill up, plus is a hundred dollars. Man, listen, I think you're talking about the memberships at Sam's. Oh, 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 yeah, they got a membership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who yeah. is um? I want to say if you spend thirty dollars, they give it back to you. But I know it's like a if you use the card, you have to get approved. But then when you use the car in Sam's for your purchases, they give you thirty dollars back, basically. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so okay. It's like fifteen dollars for the purchase. Okay. Back. 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 Okay. Back. So yeah, that's, so this so it's thirty dollars back for a forty five dollars, and how much back for the hundred dollar membership? I mean, it's just thirty dollars straight, but it's. Is if you think about it, if the membership is forty five, but they give you thirty dollars just for using the card in the club, then it's really fifteen. Okay, and you're basically getting back thirty dollars. Bet, bet. All right, well, man, look, that's some that's something huge. Hey, I just want to throw that out there before it go away because you know stuff like that. They don't tell you about that in the guru land. They tell you about everything else, but they ain't gonna give you the savings. Look, look, y'all getting it all on here tonight. Y'all getting savings and everything. You know, look, Sharon said, thank you for answering my questions. My book will be here Thursday. Let's go. Let's get it. Yes, indeed. That's what we call taking initiative out here and and being on this channel, doing what we got to do out here. Look, if he giving you tidbits, man, whatever y'all can do, get it. Make sure that y'all can, you know, level up on that for real, for real. Yeah, and look, I mean, Sharon said, Cub rewards, you get gas rewards for holiday gas station. And with high V grocery stores, you get fuel rewards as well. Yep. Hey, every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. Absolutely. Every little bit helps on here. So, you know, hey, that's what we're here for. But shout out to you. Uh, we also got the two winners, just to let you know, they did send the text. Uh, we also got the two winners, so y'all ain't got to blow me up or nothing like that. Uh, but, yeah, we got the two winners. So shout out to We're going to do another giveaway next week as well. That's what we do on the channel. Man, I told you, uh, because of this this broadcast last week, we had somebody that was able to attend uh, the VIP yeah. Masterclass with you, Reagan. Yeah, yeah, so shout out to you. Yeah, we had a good time this weekend, man. We definitely, you know, blessed the people, man, gave them, gave them some game, man. Uh, so, yeah, man, we'll make an announcement on some changes, but uh, – but yeah, we're just trying to bless the people, man. We got a new program out. I'm gonna have a you know a more of a one-on-one approach to it, so we'll be able to work hand in hand, you know, lock arms and really get these approvals knocked out in you know a, a quicker time frame. Um, but yeah, man, just working, putting out content, you know, blessing the people, trying to you know just get my perspective, man. Because you know one thing I don't want to be, uh, you know, um, in the in the whole. I mean, it is what it is, content, credit, whatever topic that, you know, I'm 
becoming a subject matter expert because I don't want to uh, be the person that is disconnected from what's really going on, right? Um, and what I mean, what's really going on is that, you know, the challenges that come with being a business owner, the, the challenges of hiring staff, of setting up systems, of, you know, just mental health, making sure you take breaks, those type of things, you know, we're going get, to get into some more of that game on the channel as well, not just the, you know, straight fire uh, live streams and teaching, you know, we're going to really make it a, a well-rounded channel. Um, that's really my goal, man, is to, to really just make it a whole uh, channel where, you you know, you come and you get some strategy and then you also learn, you know, about my journey and my, my platform and what I'm trying to do, um, and where I'm trying to take this thing. Man, my God, my God, man, that's what I want to hear. Man, yeah, talk yeah. to him, Audrey, man. How could the people actually get a hold of my guy, Audrey, man? I, you know, I am really, really would love to know that. How can they get a hold of my guy? Yeah, so if you want to hit me up, man, I'm on uh, YouTube, my channel right there, Carolina's Own, on all platforms, Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we do have a Facebook community that Lambo is a part of. I always appreciate you tapping in. Uh, the Business Funding Made Easy CBCA Network Facebook group. So just tap in with me there on the Facebook group. And uh, yeah, man, every Wednesday, 8 p.m., man, we here, we rocking um, on, the, on the channel, man. We're doing the live streams. Uh, we actually um, putting out more content, more blog content, and, uh, you know, just, just trying to elevate, man, trying to touch as many people as possible, bro. You know how I go. My guy, my guy. Well, you're doing just that because you have actually helped change my life, man. Um, I'm sure. telling you this right now. You yeah. have you have changed my life. We got some more questions and some more stuff real quick. I just wanted to, to put this in to you, man. You can go ahead and tap into my guy. Carolina Zone on YouTube, man. Y'all go like, subscribe, hit that like, subscribe, and follow button. Hit that bell for the notifications button. Set it all the way up to all, man, for personalized. And y'all go tap in with my guy. Every Wednesday night, he goes live at 8 p.m. Eastern. So y'all definitely want to tap in with my guy. Like I said, it's on the screen. Carolina Zone on YouTube and the CBA, CBCA Network on Facebook. So y'all yeah, go man. ahead and like that that group, man, and get in there if you guys are on Facebook or follow them on YouTube from that, man, and stay connected. Uh, so yeah, yeah, let's let's go to the comments real quick. I didn't already yeah, see, man, what's, what's what's going on. LA Law say thanks so much for all the great information. Shout out to you, yeah, uh, for definitely for the love on here, man. So definitely, LA, you already know it's it's, it's on and popping. And mm -hmm. oh, Miss really, Miss Reagan, man, people, we we need to support these guys and really promote yeah, these channels. Yeah, man, we gotta get you. We gotta get you to at least two thousand by the end of in the in the April, bro. We gotta we gotta push it. We hey. might do a, a marathon, man. We might just have to go about you know three, four days straight, man. Just do a straight live stream, giving gems, bro. And bro, man. hey, you I can't give them too much gems, man, yeah. because they yeah. they gonna be out there blinging like 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 Floyd Mayweather around here. All them gems, yeah. we be dropping out there on them. But but we here for y'all. Honestly, we're here for y'all. So whatever we can do, oh, we're here to support, man, within our region. So oh, we got y'all. So hey, man, we got we got to we got to sit down and we got to. I want to do the meetups, man. I was telling you about. I want to I want to see how we can make that happen, man. Maybe do like a Houston, uh, maybe like a Vegas or L.A., Atlanta, Charlotte, Florida. Because uh, I think it's important, man. Now that um, you know we can get out, and move around, man, and really you know come come talk, tap in with people. Um, because, you know, it's one thing to, you know, put out content, cameras, when you get from behind the camera, then you become like a real person. And that's, that's what I was saying about, you know, some of the stuff I'm putting on my channel just to show people, uh, you know, give them my take on things, my point of view, show them, bring them into my world, what's going on so that, you know, you never separate me from being, you know, a real person. Yeah. Yeah. And you, and you definitely that real deal, man. Y'all, he encouraged me. I got to say this real quick before we get into these comments. Uh, Audrey encouraged me at probably one of the hardest times, man, that I had just had. I yeah. had just had lost a friend last year uh, and uh, by the name of Shasta, man. I can go on ahead, man, to say his name at this point uh, yeah. due to COVID. And, uh, you know, that really impacted me real big because we were supposed to be doing some bigger plays mm -hmm. on the business side of things. Uh, and it never got to that chance to being able to do those plays. So uh, Audrey, literally the very next week uh, after Shasta's passing, I took it hard, man. 
uh, just because we had so many goals and so many things we wanted to do. And I seen his impact where he was at in Atlanta and he was doing some really big things out there, helping the people in credit repair and some other big things, his business. Mm -hmm. Uh, But Audrey came the very next week after that, literally into my life. I'd never forget. I'm sitting at home and I tell him the story, man, all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm in the bed three o'clock in the morning. You know, me and my wife, man, we'll sit back and have, we have movie channels or whatever, man, at at that Mm -hmm. time. And I'm on YouTube and literally Audrey's program comes out out of the blue. I'm like, Hey man, there ain't nobody in the search this content. Where this content come from? Who the guy is? You know, and I remember I sat up in the bed. My wife can testify this. And I was just like, man, who is this guy, man? And Audrey was just dropping knowledge, man. And I just knew I said, yo, I gotta connect with that cat. I gotta Ooh. really connect with that cat. And I remember just watching video after video after video. And I think I reached out to you within that, like the next day or something like that. Yeah. We was that on the phone. Really- yeah. yeah, it was early and we reached out. He was like, man, look, you will pick up the phone. I got you and stuff like that, man. And we we reached out, man. We've been connected ever since, man. And I've been always a faithful supporter, man, of what he's Amen. doing and tapping in and always showing love wherever I can, especially for my guy, Audrey, man, because he's definitely been a blessing. Taught me a lot, man. Never think that you. Hey, any level. Body, bro. I learned from you, man. It's always man. each one teach one situation because the thing about it, man, even if. Um, and I see this too in the, in the you know, uh, coaching, consulting world is that a lot of people try to act like, you know, they know everything. I don't know everything. I know a good bit, you know, I'm still learning, but you know, it, it don't hurt me to, um, you know, shout my guy Lambo out or, you know, tap in with credit plug or whoever, man, it's just all collaboration in my eyes. You know, I look at it as collaboration, not competition. Yeah. And that's what, man, that's definitely what one of the people said, Reagan said earlier, man. We come on here to help complete each other, not compete right. with each other, exactly. man. Yeah, exactly. I'll be, I'll be lying if I said I know every single way to uh, build business credit or every single bank that you can get. You know, I'll be lying to you, but, you yeah, know, um, it's just, you know, ego. I think, I think a lot of people just ego get in the way. Yeah, yeah, and that's what it is, man. But thank you for <laughs> you always, man, keeping it 100 with yours, dude, man. Yeah, man. Oh. It's all really, which was Reagan say, man. I started with Lambo Drew. Yes, you did. You've been rocking oh, with me since crazy. last year. Shout out to you. And actually, she was a uh, uh, Miss Reagan came on a reference on a referral with something else that we were doing for my mm. guy Gizzy Credit, man. Who be, me and you both know. My mm. guy Gizzy, man. Uh, me and Gizzy oh. been friends for what ten plus years, man. Or so, man. So shout out to shout out to you, Reagan. She said then points blank travel. Yes, I seen she jumped on that man, and and oh, uh, yeah. she was on the broadcast. I think for the first time last week or something like that. Oh. I came on, uh, and, and, and now she says, and now I'm on with Carolina's own man. Hey, man. Let's get it. Look, Let's get it, man. I, I love it. She said, all of y'all are genuine with a total goats in their own craft, man. We are. Hey, hey, I don't try to classify myself. <laughs> as well. Please don't. Oh, man. <laughs> Please don't go ahead and put me as a goat, man. When I start thinking of a goat, I start thinking of Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, you know, yeah. some of the some of them guys. Yeah. Goats. That's the yeah. greats, you know. That's I just great. we just me and Audrey, what we just trying to perfect our crafts, man, and help people. That's it. Just trying to get y'all approved for whatever funding you're trying to get, man. That's it. That's the goat. That's the goal. Well, shout out to you. Thank you for the love, Reagan, on that. That's definitely, man, really appreciated and heartfelt. Point blank, man. So really, man, I've been in and out because I'm at work. Thanks so much for the kind words. It was a pleasure having you on my live stream last night, man. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was on the live stream lighting it up. Uh, Rod, Rod was on there. If y'all missed it, y'all got to go back and check it out. Rod was on there. He called the people up. Man, me and my wife, we was cracking up laughing. He called the people up. <laughs> He called the people up from uh, the Marriott, man. He went, got his point. Not that, not only did they give him his points, they gave Rod double his points. Of wow. he yes, for him checking in. And Rod, Rod was no joke. He was persistent. Always my guy. Thank you for showing love, Rod. Just, just a genuine guy, man. All right, uh, go ahead. Uh, Audrey, I'll let you take this one. Let's see. Nicole says, I don't see all my vendor lines on now. 
I would like the experience annual report. So there's still a link for the discount experience. Yes, Nicole, if you go to my channel, um, any uh, the last two videos are posted, you'll see a uh, a link that says get 50% off on your uh, experience business profile for the annual fee. Now, one thing to keep in mind, you will need to set up your Brex account to get the 50% discount. So if you if you if you just set up a Brex uh, account and get approved, then you'll see it in there too. Uh, but I did put the link to uh, to it. It's it's because it's through Brex, one of the corporate uh, card. But that'll get you you know fifty percent off. So I think it's like one eighty nine for the year. You get it for like ninety six or something. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. So, so for all of y'all who out there who needed to hear the same thing. Uh, Y'all may be asking how to get that off, that it's actually in the now for that experience business, which you got one full year of access. Yeah. Uh, and also is real time reports that comes on there. Think throughout the day or throughout the week or something like that, man, to give you real up to date access. So when NAV only reports every 30 days, ex business experience will be able to get you that real talk. What you guys and, and just in a business world, for those who don't know, uh, Audrey teaches the 80 paydex strategy was that's one side of it that that paydex score is huge. But make sure you guys are, are leveling out all across the board, your your Experian, as well as your Aquifax. Uh, but they're mostly pulling uh, if for funding, uh, even in Audrey's uh, uh, knowledge, they're going to be pulling either from Paydex or they're going to be pulling from Experian business. Yeah. And, and one thing, too, um, that 80 Paydex strategy builds out all three bureaus. Because mm -hmm. remember, the reports to all, all three and the guest card report to all three. So it's not just. Um, DMV that we're trying to build with that strategy, you know what I mean? Um, so just, you know, when the people, because, you know, some people will say, well, I don't care about uh, DMV, I don't care about it. Nah, we, we, we building all them bad boys out uh, simultaneously. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Put it all out there. Don't just build one. That's like somebody, and I tell people like this if you're not structuring or building your profile out, that's almost like, having somebody cut your hair and they balding you up on the side, but ain't blended you or faded you or gave you a lining. You know, are you got to walk around there with a bowl, you know, make sure you make sure for the people who understand that, get it right, man. So mm -hmm. shout it's out true. to you, man. Look what Ryan said. He said, I'm always missing you. I go live on Wednesdays as well. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, man. Now nah, we got to tap in, right, man. And um, we got to do some collaboration, man, because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna um I'm gonna talk to y'all offline about it, but I got something I wanna I wanna I want y'all to be a part of, man. So we'll we'll top it up. We'll definitely have some more uh some more opportunities to uh, collab and do some content. Right? Don't even trip, man. And shout out to you for getting the two X Marriott points, man. For sure. <laughs> hey, Rob was Rob was no joke on that one last night, man. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not lying to you. I didn't know. My baby say thank you for coming on tonight, man. You are you are one of many I hear in my sleep. She wow. she know she know, man. Hey, she know there, there is a person, man. I'm trying to tell you, I I go back. She'll know, man. I probably be the bishop broadcast or whatever, man. Just busy doing what I do, or mm -hmm. most of the time I can get to tap in. But I'm on that replay, man. I'm telling you, the moment I get in. She know I'm on that replay. Like, <laughs> man, like, I got to tell you, and then I got to show you love every chance I get. Yeah, man, nah, it's always been love, bro. I appreciate it, man. You know, it's uh, it's, it's, it's good to, because, um, you know, it, it's like when you're doing it, you don't really know the impact. You don't really know into the comments until you start seeing people, DMs, things like that. So it just, it's always good to know that, uh, the, 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 you know, the platform is, is touching people. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, he's definitely doing that, man. Ursula, say good evening, everyone. Good evening, Miss Ursula. Hey, Ursula, what's going on, Coach? She was at the master class too, man. Tapping in from from uh, Alabama, man. Definitely, man. We got to Alabama too, man. We got to do a meet up there, man. Yeah, Shout out to my homie, uh, Bobby, man, down in Alabama, man, Huntsville. Shout out to shout out to the Bama folks coming in. Roll tie for y'all. Roll tie for y'all, yeah. man. Carolina's on, man. We are still learning. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. Big facts. Drew, you know I had to go get those points. I'm like a pit ball when it comes to business. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. 
Right, get it, man, get it. I don't blame you because when I seen you on that last night, Jose, man, hey, look, Carolina, man, I got to tell you this. Jose, there was this new guy. Jose had to be new, man. He was giving Rod the business, man. And I, mm. I said, you see Rod getting upset. I said, Rod, I don't never see you get upset. Rod went to going on there. He put the phone on mute. When he when he put the thing on mute and went to talking, I said, yeah, it's on it, Poppy boy. Rod ain't playing. <laughs> hey, man, shout out to the Marriott, man. That's my chain right there. Let me yeah. see the Marriott's, man. I rock with the Marriott. Shout out to you, man. Lambo Joint Carolina's on. Great live stream, fellas. Much love. Let's keep putting this knowledge out there, man. Exactly. Rod, that's what we're going to do, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, brother. I love to collab. I love to collab, bro. So you love to collab with you, man. Do it. We're going to do it, man. It's already set in stone, man. You heard it here first on Lambo Drew Channel. <laughs> Rod, you know PBT going to come with it, too, man. Shout out to your PC Smith. Thank you for the information. She's tapping in even on her birthday. She's actually in an island somewhere, somewhere in San Juan or Puerto Rico or somewhere over there with jet skis and everything. She sent the text to me and my wife. So shout out to you. She was actually on the broadcast uh, a couple months ago. She dropped some knowledge. I think it was it was February. She dropped knowledge last month. Shout out to your PC Chanel man uh, yeah, for you know, showing love, love, man. In the world, baby. March, babies, we in here. Yeah, yeah. we in here strong, man. We in here strong, fam. Yeah. Yeah, you work. know it. Rod showing love, man, to my wifey, man. Saying, hey, Renata. My hey, wife baby. coming back. Hello, Rod. <laughs> and, you know, where, where she's at, she says she's in St. Thomas. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, hey, hey, hey. Hey, all I want to know is wow. where where my St. Thomas ticket at for me and my wife. <laughs> hey, Carolina, hey, where yours at? You and your wife need to be be hey, going man. down there, right? We're going to be hitting Jamaica real soon, man. So uh, we got one year anniversary on the week this weekend, man. So shout out to my baby. Uh, we're going to be uh, we're gonna be, we're gonna be kicking it this weekend. We hit Jamaica, man. So yeah, yeah. man, get some of this rest and relaxation, brother. Well, hold on, y'all hitting Jamaica this weekend? No, no, no. Our wedding anniversary this weekend, bro. Then. Oh, well, happy anniversary, man! Hey, appreciate it, fam. Appreciate you. Hey, y'all definitely show love in the comments on the anniversary. I love that, man. Absolutely. Anniversaries are special. Absolutely, gotta show up with it, man. So we're gonna do it big this weekend, man. So uh, yeah, I, I might try to get some content. I don't think she's gonna let me though. <laughs> yeah, nah, bro. You already know, man. She like, hey, it's my time. Right. You already know what's really popping, man. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole good things, man. Look, they blowing you some, 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 some balloons and all of this Appreciate stuff. Happy yeah. with you, happy anniversary. Appreciate you on Appreciate the channel. You thank you, thank you, wifey. Appreciate it. Thank you. Showing you love coming through, man. You know, mm -hmm. man. Reagan showing love, man. Thank y'all, man, because. You know, that, that is huge for us, man, of showing love, man, sure. uh, when it comes like that down to this. I'm, I'm telling y'all, we're here for that. Rise showing love, man. Thank Happy you, anniversary, man. Yeah. Like, you know, we we going to sit back up in here. You know, I, I ain't going to much lie to you. I don't know. You may you may turn around up in here and be somewhere overseas somewhere, man, for your <laughs> for the anniversary, right? Wifey being got, yeah, don't worry about it, baby. Just come on. You're going to be gone for a week. Right. End up in Maldives somewhere over there. <laughs> That's what we're trying to do, fam. We're trying to grind so we can, you know, get off the grid. But, you know, it is what it is, man. We just bless the people, man. That's what yeah, I'm well, bless the people, man. Well, listen, man, we really want to thank you, man. I want to thank you personally for coming on here. All of the knowledge that you dropped, man. All of the great stuff that you just shared, man. Definitely, mm -hmm. man, for being a point of contact in my life, a friend, man, yeah. but most of all, man, being in my ear, let me know, Drew, go do this thing, man. You got this, man. Yeah. Start this. You know? Yeah. So I, I, did a, I did a blog. Do it ugly, man. I did it ugly. I did it right here on the same laptop. I mean, well, we got the, the big boy camera now, but it was on the same laptop. Uh, I ain't had no microphone. It was just straight fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's get it. They coming. They was out there coming with it. Points blank travels, man. Saying, hey, PCA, what's good? He ready, he ready to go to St. Thomas, too, man. <laughs> Shout out to um, my guy, Rod, just came back, actually, man. My, again, my condolences from burying his father, man, this past hey, week. Man. The funeral, man. So, Shout out to you, Rod. It's good to see you back in action, bro. You know? 
She's saying, hey, that ride, man. So, yeah, listen, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up, man. We're going to get some stuff popping off, man. Thank y'all again. Y'all know how to reach out to my guy, man. Again, follow him at, man, at Carolina's Own. That's with two N's, Carolina's Own on YouTube. Go like, subscribe, man, to the channel. Go check it out. Rob said, man, go check the channel out. If you like the content, go ahead. Hit the like, subscribe, hit the, all, hit the bell button with the all person notifications. That's what Rod is saying. So I'm going to say it in my Rod voice. And uh, <laughs> so y'all go in there, man, and make sure y'all get out there. Uh, show some love, man, to my guy. And also, man, Facebook, for those who are on Facebook, man, the CBC8 Network, y'all tap into that, man. That is a huge, huge, huge program and stuff like that. They're dropping gems each and every single day. But nothing, nothing, nothing but approvals each and every single week throughout yeah. that entire that, that platform. So y'all need yeah. some games and knowledge. They definitely in there rocking strong with the CBCA network, man. Check Audrey out, man, on, on Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern time. His show will be dropping, man, and he'll be dropping a lot of fire, man. Check out my guy, man, Points Blink Travel, man, as well, man. He out there dropping some fire, man. He said, appreciate the love, Drew. You know we're going to keep it on here. Always showing love back and forth with each other, doing what we do. So we can't wait to collab. Listen, you guys. Till the, till the next time, man. We love you guys, man. Thank y'all for rocking out for me and Carolina, man. My guy, Audrey, a.k.a. Mr. 80, paid that strategist himself. Y'all go help support whatever Audrey is doing, man. Even the next masterclass will be when, Audrey. Did you announce it yet? Uh, we're going to probably announce it tomorrow, man. I'm going to sit down tonight. And I, I, want, I want to keep it Saturdays, uh, but I just we, we got to see. But we definitely going to be doing one in April, man. We're going we gonna to make some changes, man, so we can bless more people. Oh, so we'll, we'll, we'll be better it up, better it up. So April, listen, y'all, he going to get it tonight. He going to make some stuff happen and definitely get back with y'all. So listen, we love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for all of that y'all done did. We'll be back out here next week, next Tuesday, same time, same bad station, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Love y'all much. Y'all make sure y'all share this video, catch the replay, and thank y'all all for tuning in. And we'll be back the next time again. Love y'all much. Take care. God bless.